Well, good morning, everyone. This is our team call for Monday, August 15th. So glad you're here. Thank you for being with us, and I hope you all had a phenomenal weekend. Um, we had in Columbus a really nice get-together uh, Saturday evening. I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. I think it's nice to just have times when we get together and we're not just talking about business and actually getting to know each other and getting to know spouses and families. And, you know, that's part of what it is that we do and that we're working toward for, you know, for all of us um, is being able to have all of the people on our team be successful in what they're doing. And so it's just really great to get to know family members and for them to know that, you know, there's a supportive group of people behind the spouse who's working with us or the girlfriend or boyfriend or otherwise significant other. Um, I think that's so important for people to have really strong support systems at, at home and with us as well. And so I hope that that was a nice opportunity for everyone and a blessing for everyone on Saturday night just to have some social time with all of us. So Wherever you're, you're located, if you're not in the Columbus area, and if you can't ever make it to our socials, you know, this is part of what's so nice about having a battle buddy, which is that concept that Rob talks about all the time. Because then you've got somebody to celebrate with and to be able to, you know, work toward your goals with. And that's so important. Um, you know, it's just a big opportunity for people to to have and so we you know we certainly uh appreciate that and hope that everyone else really enjoyed themselves and that people start doing that everywhere where we have agents across the country because it's just such a nice time and so important to to have um a couple of announcements to start things off this morning and then i'm going to be turning it over to a couple of people to share with us today um First, I just wanted to let everybody know last week we released two uh, different forms. One of them Andy's going to be talking about here in a second, but we updated our daily activity tracker. When you go into Slack, you're able to find the daily activity tracker. If you can't find it in the Legal Shield channel, then you just need to click on the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner, which is the search, and search for it. <clears throat> and then under files, you will find it. And that's really the, um, the, the best thing for you to have access to and to be able to use to make sure that from a B2B standpoint, that you are doing the right activity the right amount of time. What it does is it really forces you to focus. And I'm gonna be talking in a couple minutes a little more about our B2B system and what it is and how it works. Because we have so many brand new people that you know, we really want to be able to talk about all that. Um, so we will be getting a little bit more to that, but I just want to make sure that everybody has found that daily activity tracker in Slack, as well as the time tracker, time tracker. Those are the two documents that if you're in front of your computer and you can log into Slack, those are the two documents that you're going to want to pull for our conversation today so that you can kind of follow along and be able to see what it is that we're we're talking about um i'm going to start the call this morning by inviting tommy marsilio to talk with us a little bit um she i'm i'm just really glad she's going to share she has a lot of public sector background that uh she kind of came from before joining our team and so it's really put her in a solid position to be able to start opening up public sector accounts. And many of you know that she was able to open an 800 employee account last week and we're really excited about that. She's starting the process now of the enrollments, but she's learned a lot of things from that situation. And so she's not gonna have time, I'm sure, to go over all of them this morning, obviously, but just in a minute or two, I want her to just go over some of the basics about how she was able to get that account opened, 
one of the things that she and I are going to be working on, and I don't want to steal her thunder here, but she and I are going to be working on taking what she's been doing because it's kind of an ingenious thing that honestly I've never heard people in this business talk about doing before. She's kind of got an ingenious thing and Tommy, don't go into it this morning because I want to wait and make sure it's honed before we talk about it. But um, she's kind of got an ingenious thing that, that she does that we're going to hone and help spread that out to all of you so that you have the opportunity to do the same things she does. So tell me if you just want to share a little bit about how you got that account and um, you know what, what happened with it and uh, some of the, the struggles maybe and what, what was easy um, just in a minute or two, that would be great. So Tommy, go for it. Well, good morning, everybody. Thanks, Sarah. I guess um, I'm not being um, too simple when I say the most important thing I did to get that account, guys, was I asked. Um, it was maybe a little intimidating, but we will never get a count with eight people or 80 people or 800 people if we do not ask. So if you don't feel super confident about who you're talking to, fake it. You have all the confidence that you need. Um, everybody in this group and on this call has been um, certified, the CRMC, and that's the skill that you need. So what did I do? Um, I scheduled an appointment with the decision maker and I started from a very basic level because it's a public entity. This won't cost you anything. I want to tell you about something that I think is great for your employees. And I really started the, um, the pitch, right, to, to the decision maker, kind of like I would the employees, a little bit shorter about how great it was. And he literally interrupted me and said, this is great. You should tell everybody about this. They won't all be that easy, um, but I approached every single one um, and some I've been successful, some I have not, just like all of you. But, you know, I, I did ask and I just tell them about the product. It doesn't cost them anything and it's great for their employees. Very simple, very basic. And Tommy, I think it's, it's neat to know too for a lot of people, you actually got it open. You had thought it was going to take a while, which usually 800 employee accounts do. So I don't want anybody thinking that focusing on those 10 to 20 employee accounts is just my pulling the wool over your eyes because <laughs> normally normally these 800 employee accounts take a very long time to open up right that's right and and to be to be fair and to be sure it will be um tedious at best to close this account scheduling these very candidly is kind of a mini nightmare but right. it's one that's going to end well because regardless of the number of people that i sign up i will be signing people up so I, I, what I really have here, you know, when we say I open the account, what does that mean? It means the, the guy, the decision maker I talked to signed my paper. What do I really have? I really have Rob's green light. And so because it's employees in, you know, they're in different buildings, they're in different departments, it's government, so the left hand doesn't always know what the right hand's doing, right? So what I really have is a, is a bunch of places that I now have to follow up. Some of them have heard of me, some of them have not. So there's going to be a lot of administrative time on my part, you know, educating individual departments. And in a, in a private sector employer, you know, you can overcome that quickly. Private sector employer, you can, you can coach them a little better. Here's what I need you to do. Public sector doesn't work that way. Public sector is a collection of little fiefdoms. And uh, we have to be right. sensitive to everyone's needs. So that's a very way to that's a nice way to look at it no and that really is true because you know part of what she's dealing with in a county is all the heads of all these departments well not all but most of them are elected and so they each feel like they're equal they each which they are um but they each feel like they should have you know equal power and so even though one person said yes um, in Tommy's case, you know, they're, they're all going to let her in, but it's just a matter of you have to kind of enter it with um, the right kind of attitude. And when they say, oh, I didn't know you were calling me, you can't get upset about it. You have to just realize, oh, this is public sector and work your way around it <laughs> so that you can still get your foot in the door. So thanks for sharing that because it certainly is something I know you're really excited to move forward with and we're really proud of you, and, and I, I'm looking forward to figuring out some of the details and the ins and outs about what all we're going to take, because there's a <clears throat> very creative thing that 
Tommy has come up with that's working for her with other public sector entities as well that she's working on getting opened up. And so we're, we're very excited to be able to, um, to bring that to all of you once it's kind of ready to go and we've proven it very, very well. So, um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring Rob on this morning to talk with you a little bit more about Legal Shield and some of the announcements there. Um, I know he's excited because we, we are uh, at this point now about halfway through the month and we're really just trying to help everybody make sure that they reach their goals so you can make Atlantis or whatever your goal might be. So Rob, you are unmuted. Take it away. Guys, I really appreciate you spending Monday morning with us. And more importantly, I'm, I'm excited to hear a new agent just be candid because from this point forward, if you're not doing the activity, I'm done looking at a system that's working and trying to find a flaw within the system. So take a gut check moment this morning, decide if this is what you want to do, and then when you get off of this call, fill your day with good activity. And with the team growing at the rate it is, if this were a job like where you really felt like there was a thumb on your head, which is why most of you are on this call, you would appreciate every minute, every opportunity. Tommy, great job last week. Everybody just continue to, you know, build your book of business, you know, rally around the events. We have a good one coming up at the end of the month. Um, Atlantis is, you know, Atlantis is enough to sign five new people up that you want to take on a vacation. It's not too late to get somebody that's on the fence about joining your team and helping them earn that first year agent trip. You know, every I've talked to three people this weekend just, just with a simple – you know, idea of getting started. So get started. Get started the right way. I'm not going to steal anybody's time or thunder today. It's working. If you want it to work for you, take responsibility for you. This team's way too big for agents to be having success and agents who aren't doing anything saying the system doesn't work. That's probably a little too blunt this morning. I apologize in advance. That's why they kind of keep me in the small council meetings. But <laughs> if you want this to work, it will work. It can work. It is working. I'm excited about the next five months because open enrollment is here. Let's make friends. Let's make appointments. Um, I want to thank Sarah in advance for this execution of um, a, a program that's working for Mitch, it's working for Eric. You know, simply put, calling someone and asking them to come by and introduce themselves and, and inviting them to an identity theft workshop that we are putting together as a team that if you like the idea but can't make it to like a – a bigger meeting, we can do something customized right here on your job site. That approach works. There's a lot of approach works, but it boils down to just working it. If you're not calling people, you're not calling people. And yeah, this is way too hard, but I'm done playing with this, folks. I'm going to say in front of the call, I'm going silver this month. And to do that, you have to have good positive activity and take care of some of your friends. Leaders on this call. If on the 30th of the month you're hustling to get your BMW points and your Atlantis points, then you're not, you're, you've wasted the month because you can't help your team. Let's get everything done early enough where we can help everybody grow. But I'm excited about Columbus. There's a lot going on. You guys need me, call me. If you don't have my number, text me in Slack because it's on and I'm available. God bless. See you at the top. Thanks, Rob. And one of the things, um, you know, too, from what Rob just explained that one of, well, a couple things, I guess, that I want to make sure everybody's aware of. So the first is um, what Legal Shield is doing is if you were not an agent in July or if you were not able to um, Performance Club qualify in July, you know, maybe July was your first full month, but you were brand new and you, you know, just didn't quite get in there and get it done. You have a second chance in August. I know we keep talking about this and this is something that to me is so huge for a company to give a four night, five day vacation where the whole thing is paid for all the way from, um, you know, the moment you get on the airline to the moment you land in Atlantis, the entire time you're there in Atlantis, all the way to when you actually take off, that entire thing is um, paid for. 
and it's going to be so great for you and a guest. So I want to make this very clear because I've had a few people ask and I've had a few confusions about how this all actually plays out. So let me be clear with this. <clears throat> when you have, well, okay, so if July was your first full month, so if you became an agent in June or before and you did not performance club qualify in the month of July, then you have the month of August as a second chance. But then you have to have 10 performance club points in the month of July. So if you are one of those people, remember a performance club point is not the same thing as a membership. A performance club point is issued when you sell a Legal Shield membership, an ID Shield membership, or the combination of the two to an individual. One performance club point is issued for the $39 small business plan. Two points are issued for the $89 small business plan and the $149 small business plan. And then three points are issued for a new associate. So I just want you to think through that and make sure by the end of the month, if you were on board with us and you had a full month of July, so you were on board at June 30th or earlier, you've got a second chance. You're not out of it yet. But I cannot guarantee you that they're going to give a third you know, a, a third extension, well, I guess I should say a second extension, a third chance. I can't guarantee they're going to give you a third chance. My guess is August 31st, it's going to be totally cut off. So make sure if that applies to you, if you were an agent June 30th or before, that you get it done this month. Now, on the other hand, if you were new in July, then that means August is your first full month. If August is your first full month, you merely need to Performance Club qualify in August. Remember, Performance Club qualify means five points. And I know Rob will text me if I'm wrong about any of this. <laughs> but um, the month of August, you just need to Performance Club qualify if you were a new agent with us before, on or before July 31st. Okay, new agents you bring on board this month, September, October, November, even the first part of December, you've got all the way through 1231 to qualify. They can still come on board and they can still qualify in that group four where they performance club qualify every month and then help at least four people fast start qualify. So, you know, they have to, you have to get it done relatively quickly if you come on board later in the year because you wouldn't have too long to get those four people fast start qualified. But my point is, guys, I don't want anybody to feel like, you know, oh, I missed July, or oh, I'm seeing all these other people succeed, and maybe I missed my mark. It doesn't matter. You still have all the chances in the world to catch up and be with us on that Atlantis trip. So, um, you know, definitely make sure that you're reaching toward that point. <clears throat> so, the other thing um, that Rob mentioned are the identity theft workshops. And for those who maybe didn't hear this last week, Harvard, which is where all of you do the CRMC that Tommy referenced this morning, um, Harvard Risk Management Corporation for a long time has been doing these identity theft workshops. And it's a nice entrance for a new agent to approach things this way. So what you can do is when you're making a phone call, you can approach it from the standpoint that you want to just come in and drop off some information about an identity theft workshop for them. So what happens is, you know, you're on the phone, you're making the phone call, the person who's the secretary says, who are you? You say, hi, you know, this is Sarah calling from Brenner Group. Is Jack there, please? Because you'll probably have the name from Reference USA of who it is you're calling. So then, you know, they'll probably be a good gatekeeper and they'll say, well, what's this regarding? And you can say something like risk management. 
You can say um, something like identity theft workshops, probably risk management is going to be your best bet. Hopefully you get through to Jack. So now Jack's on the phone and you say, Jack, my name's Sarah. I'm calling with the Brenner Group and we're local identity theft specialists. And we're having an identity theft workshop that we can either do at your business or you can come to the one that we're putting on. And I just wanted to swing by and drop off some information for you to see if it's something you guys would like to participate in. It's totally free to your company. That's it. That's the pitch. Then when they say, oh, yeah, sure, you know, yeah, feel, feel free to, to, to stop by. Great. I'm going to be in your area on Thursday. Would you rather I stop by at 10 a.m. or at 3 p.m.? Which one's better for you? And then nail them down on a time and then stop in. So then what are you dropping off? Well, so one of the things I'm going to be sending out hopefully later today is a link where everyone will be able to go to a link and order for themselves a quarter sheet, very small, very simple flyer that you can hand to that business owner that's personalized with your name and email, I'm sorry, your name and phone on it so that you have that information. And you're going to be able then to order that. You are going to be able to get 50 of them for 10 bucks. I'm not making any money off of it. It's a Vistaprint site um, where you're just going to be able to go straight on there and the thing that's nice is once you order from Vistaprint once, they keep sending you coupons. So you'll have times where they'll send you a 75% off coupon, and that's when you want to go in there and stock up on supplies. But we're doing the same thing with business cards and things as well so that you have access to all that. Um, so you're going to be able to go in and order those little quarter sheet flyers to be able to send out. And they're not big. I mean, they literally are a quarter sheet of paper. Uh, but it's a little heavier stock than normal. It's not the real light 20-pound paper. It's a nice 80-pound paper, so it feels a little bit better in your fingers. But it's not fancy schmancy. But it's full color, looks very nice, it's personalized with your information, just gives a couple sentences about what we do. Um, identitytheftworkshops.com. We have purchased that URL, and we're going to be building a one-page site so that that can be on the bottom of that flyer so that when you hand it out at the bottom, it's going to say identitytheftworkshops.com. So if they want to know what exactly is it that you talk about, we're going to have a lot more detail on that site. But it, it's still just going to be a one-page website. It's not going to be a huge site. It's going to be more like a landing page. Um, and then also a place where if for some reason they they – you know, lose your sheet of paper or whatever, they'll be able to let us know, you know, hey, I want to have one of these. The hope is that then we can send that, that message back out and say, hey, who's, you know, whose contact was this? Um, hopefully that won't happen, obviously, because you'll be connecting with them and following up with them and such. But it's a very easy way to get your foot in the door. There's no commitment. There's no expenditure on their part. The only thing we're saying is it's no cost to your company. All we ask of them is that you make it a mandatory meeting. That's the give and take. So, um, you know, should be fairly simple to make that happen. Um, you, you do have to have some confidence when you make that phone call. But it's a whole lot easier than going through a big, long spiel on the phone about how you're a voluntary benefits agent and, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, um, for those of you who want to start using that concept, I'm going to talk here in a couple minutes about the B2B activity. And just remember, you're able then to go ahead and you know, start using this identity theft concept. What I would just do, though, give me till the end of the day to get that flyer up. Um, so if you start making these calls, you know, if you stop in this week, you're either going to have to kind of make something yourself or I can send you this if you want to try to just kind of duplicate it. Um, otherwise, you're going to need to wait and not make the scheduled drop-offs until the first part of next week so that you've got a chance to go in there and order your customizable flyers and have them shipped to you so that you can go in. But I would just start with the 50 for 10 bucks. You know, I mean, if, if you get 50 actual good, solid decision maker drops done in, I mean, even done over the course of a month, <laughs> you know, I mean, that $10 is going to last probably a good solid month for you, if not longer. Um, and then out of those 50, if you can get half of them to let you do a group presentation, Oh my gosh, I mean, you're going, to be, you're going to be way, way on the way to having hundreds of employees purchase memberships from you in that given month. So that 50 will take you 
plenty long down the road that I'm sure you will be just fine for quite some time. So one of the other things that we've been talking about um, is that in the, you know, in the business that we're in, many of us work from home. You know, I have an office as well. Rob and Eric have an office. Some of you who are on here work out of either our Dublin or Circleville office in Ohio. Um, others of you who are across the country don't have that. You know, you don't have a, um, you don't have an office. Most people who are legal shield agents don't. And so one of the big things that we've been talking about, and I want to bring Andy on to talk about this, is the fact that, you know, sometimes our week flies away and we think we've spent 40 hours working, but we really haven't. Um, so I want to bring Andy on to talk about the time tracker and the intentions with that and, and how you can use that to help you in your business and to help you stay focused. So um, Andy, go ahead if you would and explain that time tracker to us and what it means and how people can utilize that in their own business. Okay, thank you, Sarah. Hopefully everybody's uh, staying dry. Uh, we went from uh, being in the dust bowl to now monsoon season. So, uh, but yeah, the time tracker, I, everybody should have uh, or get a copy of the time tracker. Uh, print off a copy of the time tracker. And then what you're going to do is I want everybody to fill it out for the prior week. So I want basically everybody to get a copy of that time tracker, which shows a Monday through Friday, doesn't even show Saturday and Sunday. It shows Monday through Friday, 8.30 or 8 a.m. till uh, 5.30, 6 p.m. I think it's what I've got on the time tracker. I don't have it right in front of me. But, um, and there's a, there's a slot for every half hour during the day. I want you to go back I want you to fill in what you did at every half hour for each of the five days last week. And the reason I want you to do that, I want you to go Monday, fill the whole thing out. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, if you're on vacation or something, obviously you can just write vacation on the day or whatever the case is. Or pick another week. Pick the week before that. Because uh, many of you, um, whether you're, you know, Legal Shield, uh, Colonial, uh, Washington Mutual, or uh, even the PNC or whatever you're you're working on, uh, you need to take a look to see what you're actually doing during the day. It's that, you know, if you're working from home and you're supposed to be making these phone calls, well, if at eight o'clock a.m. Uh, you're waking up, you have your coffee, that takes a half an hour. You let the dog out, that takes a half an hour. Uh, you uh, decide, you know, you're you're whatever the case happens to be, you go through the list and then all of a sudden at the end of the day, you've only put in a half hour's worth of work. This is a business and this is a business where you also have to work in order to earn income. And if you want to have a successful business, you're going to need to make, have the discipline to be able to put in time uh, to do the things that will generate business for you. So, you know, if at noon you've got lunch, and so 12 lunch, 12.30 lunch, you, and then uh, 1 o'clock uh, you make some phone calls, uh, but at 1.30 uh, you're doing something else, and then at 2 o'clock, you know, you did something else or whatever. You have to take the, the car in. They have the oil change. Once you go through this list, I want you to take a look at that, fill that out for one full week prior week, not this week, um, unless you're at the end of the week and then fill it out. But I want you to actually take a look and see what you did that week. And then say, okay, well, what do I need to do to adjust my schedule so that I'm actually doing productivity things, doing things that will generate me, my, uh, may generate income. I mean, that's the point of doing this. Um, and then you may also want to write on there on, on your weekly thing, you know, I want to get a new car or in this case, a BMW car, or if you want to, you know, you need a, a new TV, set yourself a goal for something that you want to do. And then you can also put that in your, your, your daily uh, activity to know, okay, this is the goal I want out of this or just, you know, regular steady income. Well, if you have regular steady income, you have to be regularly doing, uh, making calls, making drops, uh, you know, uh, calling people, whatever the case is. I mean, it's, this business, especially business to business, there are going to be a lot of phone calls or there are going to be a lot of uh, drops. 
or there will be chamber meetings, or there will be, um, and when you're at a chamber meeting, uh, let's say you're, you're at, you, let's say you go to an event, you go to a networking event, and you're there for an hour, and you know you're going to be there for an hour. Well, take that daily activity call or activity tracker, and then maybe break it down for that hour, and then go back and say, well, how many people did I meet in that hour? Well, I was there for an hour, and I met one person. Okay, well, how does that get you to your goal? Did you meet three people, five people? Did you say hello and interact? Now, maybe one interaction uh, can generate, you know, a, a whole a business worth of activity that could be 20 or 30 people. That's a good activity, even if it's just one person in that hour um, versus maybe even five or 10 people in that hour. So what this was, the idea is, is to get you focused on making sure that you're doing what you need to do in order to generate income and, and sales uh, from whatever product, whether it's Legal Shield or, like I said, uh, Colonial, and go down through that. So, you know, if you're working out of your house, uh, you go through this activity tracker and you realize during the, the a week where you could have had 40 hours in, you're only putting in four hours or a couple hours a day. And of that two hours a day, you realize, well, even of that two hours, I was interrupted X amount of times by my dog running out. Uh, because it's raining and the dog did not want to go outside and go uh, potty because they want to go right back inside because it was raining, but then they went right back out. So for the next hour, I'm going to be messing around with the dog out. So those are the kind of things that you want to discuss or you should be discussing in your own mind. What am I doing? So if you think you're sitting there and you're not, you think, oh, I'm not successful. This isn't working for me. You look at that activity tracker and realize you haven't done anything for the week. Well, then maybe you need to make sure you're setting aside time. And if that means you can't work from home and you need to go to one of the offices or or if you need to go out of your house and go to a Panera Bread or somewhere down the street to, you know, get a coffee and make calls from there, then do it. And then that way you can modify your behavior to make sure you're doing the activities that are needed in order to accomplish the goals that you want. Uh, So that was basically my thought. And uh, that was the, just, you know, take a look at that activity tracker. I think that'll work. And I'll throw it back to you, Sarah. No, I appreciate it. I think that's really, really helpful. And I am grateful that you created that because I know, you know, everybody, <laughs> everybody has uh, strengths and weaknesses. And I even get kind of distracted sometimes during the day because I'm trying to put out fires. I'm trying to help, you know, this agent with this problem and that agent with this other situation. And whatever kind of comes at me. And one of the things that I have decided myself for this week, you know, I had kind of gotten off of opening up my own accounts and um, because I've been working with all of you and I love doing that, but I also enjoy opening up accounts. And so I told myself I was going to block out some time every day this week to be able to make those calls and um, start opening up some accounts again. And so what it is, is, you know, it's just a, a matter of, really being able to come back at the end of the day and analyze, you know, okay, I felt like I was running around with a, like a chicken with my head cut off. I felt like I got a lot done, but oh, wait a minute. I I actually only got four solid hours of work in, you know, really? I mean, it's those kinds of things where you can really change your life by looking at what you've actually accomplished because just because you feel like you got a lot done doesn't mean you got a lot done. Some of you who are on this call are phenomenal at getting your goals accomplished. And you're probably thinking, well, why in the world are we even talking about this this morning? Because a rising tide lifts all boats. And so is not at that point, um, you know, up to that point. And so part of that goal then is just really providing you with those opportunities so that you're able to get to that point and have what you need to really get yourself focused. So it's called the time tracker. It's in Slack. And of course, if you're not in Slack, um, make sure you get into Slack. Give you access to that time tracker so you can. So let's go ahead then um, and move on to discuss the B2B uh, portion because I, I want to make sure, you know, if you are old hat at this, then, you know, some of this is going to be just re- repetitive information, but I still think it doesn't hurt to, to hear it again. 
Um, if you are not old hat at this, grab a pen, write these things down, and really start to focus on making your transition over to B2B. So, you know, Legal Shield kind of has two sides. There's a side where if you want to be able to market to individuals, you, you may. Um, but it definitely is something that takes a lot longer to grow that way. Because obviously, the same amount of time that I can spend sitting down with a decision maker who has 50 employees is usually the same amount of time, if not even sometimes less time, than sitting down getting a person who's a friend, a colleague, an associate um, you know, of mine, whatever, to just purchase a membership from me. So it's all about leveraging your time, right? So the first thing is when you are just trying to kind of break into that B2B arena, there's two areas of training that you need to focus on. The one is the B2B certification courses that are in your Legal Shield Associate only back office. So if you go to online.legalshield.com and then go to training and then learning management system, that'll bring up the learning management system. Then on the left, you click on systems of success and click on B2B uh, system of success. And then it brings up five little sections, start, learn, do, grow, and B2B certification. The B2B certification one is the important one. Those are also the courses that if you decide to go to group school to get group certified, those are also the courses that you have to complete before you go to group school. Now let me make something very, 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 very clear to everyone. You do not have to go to group school to open up a group. Sometimes I hear that from people. Well, I haven't gone to group school yet, so I can't open up a group. No, that is not true. You may open up groups till the cows come home without being group certified. It simply means that someone has to sign your gold card or your yellow card, which is that card that you use to get the account open. And it has to be somebody who's group certified. So I can sign it. Bronze Executive Director Rob Barnett can sign it. Um, we have, I believe Jordan Hall is group certified. So you've got some options there. And, you know, if it's something where you're not right here with us, that's fine. We'll get your, we'll get your card signed. You know, maybe you need to scan it in and have me sign it. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Point is, you just have to have that card signed by someone who is group certified, and then you're dandy. So I want everybody to kind of, you know, just release this fear that you have to be group certified, because you don't. So that's one place to really get some good training. The other place where I think you get even better training is if you log back into Harvard, which remember is only a third party vendor, so never order anything they tell you to order, never buy their business cards, never buy any of that stuff, they're just a third party training vendor. When you log back into Harvard and you go into the training, there's something called employee benefit training and advanced group training. They both take hours. So please don't tell me this week, oh, I didn't make any calls because I was just working on all the training. No, you need to be doing both together. So I would just maybe do one of those trainings a day. It might take you 30 days to get through, but that's okay. You'll just get better as you keep going with practice. And work through the employee benefits training in Harvard. I think that's even better. That will tell you how to actually apply what it is that you learned in that B2B system of success that's in your Legal Shield back office. Those are the two major places that you want to focus for B2B. That's your training. So if you're still sitting down with individuals, if you've already Fast Start qualified, you should have made the switch the day after you finished Fast Start qualification, right? If you haven't finished Fast Start qualification yet, get yourself Fast Start qualified this week and then make that switch so that you can make that transition as soon as possible. And then remember, this is where the daily activity tracker comes into play. So we have the time tracker, which is what Andy was talking about, which is merely so you can see what you've been doing during the day. You're not putting the number of calls on it. You're not putting that kind of stuff. You're just putting things like, you know, phone calls 
um, fooled around with making dinner, you know, those kinds of things on there. So you can log and see where your time wasters have been so that you've just become more aware of them. Your daily activity tracker is a different document that's also in Slack. You just click on the magnifying glass and pull it up. That is where you actually track the specific types of activity. Things like calling a prospect, visiting a prospect, scheduling a decision maker meeting, completing a decision maker meeting, completing a group enrollment. Those are the activities in that that you're tracking. And they're each worth a certain number of points based on how productive they are for your business. Your goal at the end of the week should be 500 points. So if you have no decision maker meetings, you hate doing visits, so you're not going to do them, you have no group enrollments, you're just doing phone calls, phone calls are only worth one point. So that means you're out there making 500 phone calls. If you love doing visits and you prefer in person, then you can see you've got to be able to do at least about 125 to 150 of them plus the follow-up calls to be able to get to that 500. Why 500? Because the way the numbers average out, if you get to 500 points every week, you could almost walk into a business asleep and still open at least one every week. That's the way the numbers play out. So some of you might find, you know, I only need to do 300 points this week. But hey, guess what? Until you get to 500 and you see what happens, you can't adjust. So you can't adjust first. You've got to have those weeks, that month where you're pushing that 500 point mark to really see, you know, what are my numbers? If I make 100 calls with this identity theft workshop philosophy, how many am I getting? Well, Mitch the other day got 10 out of 35 phone calls. So if you're running, you know, a third, and if you're making 100 calls, you're getting 33 appointments, that's more than you can probably handle for the rest of the week. But then when you go out and you do each of those visits, you're getting two points for that. You know, you're getting a point when you follow up. You're getting points when you actually do the decision maker meeting. So all, the, all, those, all those add up so that you have the points. So those points represent activity. Again, this has nothing to do with Performance Club, anything like that. This is just a tracker for you to be able to see. And then what we're going to start doing is we'd like everybody to bring their daily activity tracker to your Friday mastermind, wherever you are. If you do not have a Friday mastermind in your location, then let's go ahead and, um, you know, just get what you uh, can from, you know, joining one by phone. So, you know, we can always open up the Columbus one to a, a Zoom call. Um, you know, we want to make sure that we can do that. I know Tommy's going to start doing one in Cleveland for the agents up there. And, uh, you know, that Friday mastermind is just a good time to sit down and talk about all the accounts, what's in the pipeline, what do we need to do to get them open? What's the strategy? You know, those types of things. So I hope that that makes sense. Um, you are not going to earn the kind of income that you want to earn, whether it's Legal Shield or, you know, voluntary benefits where you need a license by simply trying to find individuals who will buy a membership or a policy from you. You're just not. I mean, it's, that's why we don't do it that way. We fast start qualify you that way so you've got some practice. And the first time that you've run you know, 50 memberships through your website is not the first time you've ever used your hub site before. But after you get that fast start qualification done, which we hope you get done within a week, if you follow that getting started guide, which is also uh, searchable in, in Slack, it's also pinned to the FSQ getting started channel in Slack. It's a pinned document in there, that getting started guide along with the video training. So if you still haven't fast start qualified, if you're still in that window and you still need that, you know, go, go back and pull that. But after you get that done, make the switch the very next morning. Learn how to use Reference USA. We have a video training for that as well. That's your next step to make sure that you know how to start pulling places to call. That was the list Mitch was using. That's how he got his 10 of 35. Those are the lists that I used to use. That's how I got accounts opened. You don't have to just call people you know. You can, and those are great warm accounts to get into. 
but you've got other options too. You don't just have to call people you know. Learn, learn to use Reference USA and then block four hours out of every day for prospecting. Doesn't matter whether it's going into businesses, making phone calls, whatever it is. If you spend four hours a day prospecting, truly focused on prospecting, you will be able to exceed the goals that you have for your income with whatever product it is that you're calling about. So if you prefer to call about licensed voluntary benefit products, and that's your first preference, great. You know, find a way to script it so that you're not just saying, hey, I want to come in and talk to you about disability insurance, right? You know, find a better way to phrase it. That's why Rob was coaching Mitch on how to do the identity theft workshops because it's just such a different, unique thing. It doesn't cost the company anything. You know, there's a lot of traction, but there's very little resistance. Um, you know, it's just a nice way to phrase it. Find, find a way like that to phrase something so that you can get your foot in the door. That's what you need. Once you've got that foot in the door and you can go in and see that decision maker, that's where the magic happens. The other thing I want everybody to remember, when you need a decision maker, when, I'm sorry, when you need help with a decision maker meeting or with a group presentation, make sure that you contact someone on this team who can help you. So if you are needing help with a decision maker meeting, it's your very first time doing one, if you're near someone who's experienced in doing that, let's get them in there with you. If not, let's really spend some time getting you coached through that before you go in. Don't waste time spinning your wheels doing it wrong. There are ways to do group presentations, and I don't have time on the phone this morning to go over that. But there are ways to do decision maker meetings. There are ways to do group presentations that work and that work better than what you're going to just think of by doing it all by yourself. So let us coach you. That's what we're here to help you with. That's what we want to help you with. Let us coach you through that so that you don't have a bunch of failures before you get to your success. We want you to be able to succeed with those. So we've got a phenomenal system. We've got a phenomenal system. You know, the people who are on this call this morning who are succeeding with that system are following the system. And the people who are not following the system are usually the people who are saying the system doesn't work, which kind of is odd, <laughs> but that's usually what it is. So follow the system. That's where the success is. Follow the system. Learn the system. Love the system. Follow the system. When you do that, magic happens. So I just want to encourage everybody this week, if you have not Performance Club qualified yet on the Legal Shield side, um, you know, get that done today or tomorrow so you can spend the rest of the month helping your team. We are at a good place in the month, um, you know, to make sure that we executive director qualify again, but we still need to push. So, you know, we can't, we can't rest on our laurels. We are not there yet. So, you know, we've got to keep going. Um, we always say 80% of the business comes in in the last two weeks of the month. And so we're, we're assuming that's going to be the case again this month. So we should be fine, but everybody's got to do their part uh, with performance club qualifications. So, you know, let's go out there and get it done. There's still time to get a group open yet this month if you focus on those 10 to 20 employee groups. And imagine how much that's going to help you reach your goal with being able to be promoted to another commission level. So, you have a great system. You have great companies that you represent, regardless of whether it's Legal Shield or Colonial or Washington National or, you know, Progressive or whatever it is that everybody's out there representing. You have great companies that, that, that you're representing. It's just a matter of following the system. So if you haven't yet, start today with the system. It's Monday. It's a new week. It's a new day. Start with the system. Give it a solid try and you will see a huge difference. So thank you everybody for being on the call this morning. I'm excited to see how everybody's week goes following the system. And with that, I will look forward to seeing you all soon. Make sure that you participate today if you're on the Legal Shield side with the 11 a.m. Uh, phone call that is the leadership show. Um, you can get that in your Legal Shield newsletter or in the Legal Shield channel in Slack. And then also later today, 
at 8 p.m. Eastern is Monday Momentum. Brian Carruthers has something tonight at 9 p.m. Um, you know, if you are someone who likes those more kind of upbeat calls rather than nuts and bolts type calls, those 8 and 9 p.m. calls might be good for you. But uh, make sure that you plug into those. And with that being said, I am excited about the week ahead, and I really look forward to seeing everybody's successes. So thanks again all for being on the call today. If you need anything, you know where to find us. And I'll see you all real soon. Have a successful week. Thanks so much.